Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Arden and seeing if we can't push progression uh, on this account a bit further with him. I was stuck at that 924 and I did actually clear the 920 the day before, so we are doing the Legends Arena. But 924, I was hard stuck. Like, I couldn't even get anywhere near it. I decided to throw Arden in and give up on my faction bonus, and it worked so well. He's also got me through. Um, I think 10 or 15 floors, 13 floors. I was stuck on 110. He's going through 13 floors of the tower, but I thought let's push the progression on this account. So let's get into the video and see how we can do. Okay, so first we're just going to have a quick look at Arden. I'm not going to go too in depth into it. It's been done to death. Everyone probably knows what he does. Basically, ultimate, it's an AOE, drops lightning on people. Second skill is the Roots, which is where he really does shine. You really do want to have this entangling at least two enemies before you start using him. Um, and then once he gets to 141, he's absolutely amazing entangling three enemies. And then the final skill, um, it cr creates a shield on an allied target, and it basically deals damage to the attacker and stuff like that. Basically, the only thing you really care about is these Roots. The Roots are amazing. This thing does actually do good damage later on, but the Roots... It's, it's all about the CC. He uses them so often, and they're just amazing. So, let's see how far we can get in the progression. For those of you playing at home, spying at my little diamond stack, I think we've also got about 50 scrolls and 29,000 diamonds. Uh, I'm just waiting for Graveborn Day, and then we will get to some summons on this account. I think we'll end up with probably 200 by the time. I've been buying those event scrolls as well, so... Uh, hopefully we'll get another 10 from there. Might even get the faction ones. We'll see how we go. We'll, we'll see how long it takes. Uh, but ends in six days. We'll probably get there. So big summon session coming up. But for now, let's check the progress. So the good thing about this putting Arden in, and I know I said I was doing Light Bearers and, and Graveborn, but you know, I was stuck. He, I just had him there. So I thought, why not test it? And it's really worked. So I'm going to use him for a bit. Um... The great thing about this team is I've got the Nara and I've got the Thalia. They're two very good single target CC units. Combine that with Arden up the back using his roots as well. You do have really good lockout, really good early sustain. Um, Lucius with the shield. Other options for, well, everyone's got an Athalia now. If you're further on and you sort of need those Elite Plus legendary units, you might not be able to use her. But another great option is something like Forks, who banishes his target for like seven seconds at the start of the battle. Um, really good. He can be used as one. But just having good CC in a combination with the Arden is really nice. So this team, you'll see how it goes. It just locks enemies out really hard early on. So we'll go in. We'll go times two. Oops, times two auto. Beautiful. So you can see those roots coming out. Um, I entangled two enemies that I wasn't attacking while my other two units, uh, the Athalia and the Nara, are CCing the other ones. And, it, and then as basically as soon as those other roots came off, he put more on and you can see he just keeps putting them up. And especially, the, he, I definitely think he's by far the best rare unit in the game because in one of my lists I did ages ago, I was using Saviors as a damage dealer. Yes, he's fantastic and he may even be better at this stage of the game. But the thing about um, like rare units that you want to use as damage dealers and such like that, they're just... They, they fall off later game once they reach their cap, whereas CC never falls off. CC is always going to be good. The other thing I love about this team is Nara. So you can see here, um, old mate Sylvina is going to go and attack my Arden over here, but then we've got Nara who's just going <laughs> to grapple her over and then just knock her legs out, stomp her on the face, kill her, lick some blood. Like, Nara is crazy. Like, do not mess with Nara. Like, she's a crazy lady. So let's go. So you can see she goes straight to Arden. She gets taken away. We're stomping on her face. Then we're putting her in roots. She's still in CC. That's how long that chain can actually go. Um, really nice in this team, like I said, with the Lucius, that by the time they start doing some significant damage, Lucius has pretty much got his shield up, so you can mitigate, mitigate a good chunk. I normally do lose one or two heroes, but by the time you've got through all that stuff you need to do, um, the Lucius and Shamira are pretty much going to carry it from there. So that's another one down. Let's go again, 927. Hoping we can clear this chapter by the time we do some summons so that we can get uh, get some more goodies for summons. But I'm thinking we're going to have 200 summons. I'm really hyped for this summon section in case you didn't realize. I feel, I just, 
I'm, I was tempted to go Lightbearer's Day because I really want the Rowan because he seems like an absolute beast. But I, I got to stick with it. I got to stick with it and go for the um, go for the Graveborn. We're so close to getting the Mythic Chimera. Like we just need fodder. So when I say so close, we're, we're a lot of fodder away. But we will get there eventually. So that's what we're really going for. Lee's just easy. The next battle is going to be the challenge because it is going to be the banner boss. Um, and it's got a Sylvina as well. So what we're going to do here, we're going to put Athalia. Ooh, who do we want to counter? I think we're going to go Athalia there. Uh, hello, Isabella? Isabella? Oh my god, it's an Isabella that you cannot target. Okay, we've got the ghost Isabella. Uh, we're going to leave Nara here to do the same thing against our mate Sylvina. She's going to grapple, stomp, GG. This is the... Ara is going to be the annoying bit combined with um, Ogi. We really need to get the roots on those two. So this may take a couple tries, um, but we'll see how we go. Hopefully Isabella appears. Oh my god, she's invisible the whole time. What is going on? Okay, we've got some roots. We've got some good roots. We need shield now. Shield. Sh oh, he dropped before the shield. Okay, she's going to stay invisible that whole time. That's really trippy. Um, can Shamira just solo this now? No. Oh, she was so close to dead. Okay, we've got this if we get the good roots. That's, that's all we need here. Isabella being a ghost is really creeping me out. Like, that's trippy as. Uh, we got the roots on the wrong ones. We did get the shield off, though. Okay, Shamira go. Shamira go. Nice. Can Nara execute? Nice. This is going good. Uh, it's just going to be if Ira gets her um, ultimate off and basically destroys. Please. Yes. No. Wow, that turned really quick from what I thought was going to be good to horrible. Literally the next attempt, we got it. So let's get here. Basically, what happened was um, Arden didn't take too much damage at the start, which was perfect. He didn't get crit. He sat there, took the knock damage, gets a heal, and then we're pretty good. After that, we do get the shield clutch very closely by Lucius, which probably saved us. Nara did unfortunately die, um, but we did get some good roots out of um, Arden here. He's about to use his lightning and that lightning really clutched it for us we got that kill on the nara i mean not the nara the uh the sylvina so killing that sylvina was what got us there she was using her ultimate when it killed and basically that's how it worked rng and you can get there so that's another boss stage clear let's keep going i feel like we're gonna get there uh what do we got here why is there always someone invisible i don't get it who was it i can't even remember but who cares we'll cc them um, <laughs> this looks ridiculous. We're stomping the invisible person. Uh, I have no idea. I have absolutely zero idea what is going on there. Shamira, nice. Do we get an execute? We're still stomping on faces. There goes the execute. Lucius is dead, but we should be able to get the heal with Shamira and then just finish it off. Yes, we do. Nice. The CC in this comp, I am absolutely loving. Like I said, we miss out on um, some of the faction bonuses. But besides that, it's pretty good. Okay, Vidan is annoying at this stage of the game. Um, but, you know, we can still lock out the two targets. Hopefully root him. Let, let's get a root on Vidan. Nice. That's what we wanted. That's really good. Um, Shamira can use her ultimate. He's going to turn to bats, but that's okay as long as we get shield. No, Lucius, don't use that shield. Use your big shield on everyone. Thank you. Bit late. That was a bit late. Um, I think we're done here. We're done. Nah, the Nomura's healing. Wow, we're surviving pretty solid. Nah, GG. GG, team. Okay, that one, I feel like we were there, except Lucius decided to use his... Like uh, his stand down, reduce damage, this shield instead of his ultimate. So now that he's used that so early, he should be able to use his shield now. Unfortunately, we did lose Nara. Um, let's see who's going to die. Ooh, avoid damage? No. Lucius again? Lucius? Okay, he always uses that shield at the wrong time. This could be where we get stuck. Unless we kill that Nomura right here. Ultimate? Oh, we were charmed. We were charmed. Got it. That one was annoying. That took a lot of tries. I just felt like we were going to get there, so I just kept repeating, and this is what we ended up with. So um, the key here was Athalia sort of survived a little bit longer than I thought she was going to because Vidam went bats and he went straight down, allowing her to survive. We did lose Arden early, but Lucius um, did get that shield off, which was pretty clutch, 
and we managed to get rid of that Nomura before she used her heal. Then it just came down to luck and hopefully we could 1v2 these two guys, which is normally really hard because they have a lot of healing and they're really annoying. And this is turning well away from an Arden Spotlight video to a Shamira Spotlight. But hey, when you're using Shamira, every battle is going to be a Shamira Spotlight because she's just OP as heck. So we ended up getting it. It just became for Dan Her and the damage was too much. And we got the Rampage 5 kills. So GG, next stage. We're going to keep pushing. I feel like I feel like the next one will be a definite roadblock. But let, who's the invisible? Why are these Isabellas invisible? Who cares? I reckon, I reckon Kaz is going to dodge us here, but we've really got to still target this Sylvina here. Let's see what happens. Kaz was immune. She interrupted our kick. Yeah, okay. Do not put Athalia on Kaz. Lesson learned. Let's do that next time, and we should be good. Unless we do get the kill here, then it will be easy, but uh, we're, we're still stomping. Okay. We're getting some really nice damage here. Don't ultimate Kaz. Don't ultimate. Yes, okay. Oh, we didn't have to worry about it. Lesson learned, though. Lesson learned. Don't use Athalia to try and counter Kaz because it won't work. GG. I wonder what that Isabella did. She was invisible. Wait, are you telling me that that stage that I was stuck at wasn't a boss stage? Wow, that's trolls. Oh, no. This is yuck. this is worse than that one. I think we're going to have to call it here. I, I just I don't think we're going to get this. I do not see it happening. We'll have a couple tries. But then we might have to call it quits. Okay, we've got some good roots. Um, if Lucius can get his shield up before anyone dies, which doesn't look likely, yes. Okay. Shamira, ultimate, thank you. Shamira, 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 Sh 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 Shamira. What are you doing? Oh, she's probably being mind controlled. I wasn't paying attention. Nah, GG. Yeah, this 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 stage, uh, yeah. I think we're going to have to wait for summons. I think our elite heroes are just getting too weak and we're going to have to wait for summons in a couple days. Let's have another crack at that. Um, so we can CC the Arden pretty well. We get the Nomura down. We stomp on her face a bit. We got the roots on the Arden, which, I mean, the Vidan, which is really nice. Basically, as soon as Vidan goes bats, everything just goes to shit. He's just... The bats are just OP at this stage. Every time I try and use a Vidan, like, I find him absolutely useless. It's like he just dies like a wet noodle and does nothing. Uh, but every time I fight against him, man, he does some hectic stuff. Maybe I'll try swapping my two tanks around. Maybe that'll help out. Uh, Shimura gets the ultimate. Okay. Thalia, can Nara kill someone? Please execute someone. Okay. Nara, please execute. Oh, we didn't get the kill. Before she heals, before she heals, knock her down. Knock her down. Do something. Nara, no. Oh, that was so close. Could we have done it though? Because now that this is a boss stage, I feel like that would have been a harder solo. But our Nara's damage isn't there. We need more copies of Nara. That was really close to the execute on the um, Nomura. Let's have one more crack. Okay, we've got some good roots there. We've got Vidan. That's what we wanted. We, we wanted Vidan on those second roots is what we really wanted to, to get it done. Um, is going to use ultimate here. When she, oh, she's in roots. And then she got demolished. Okay, Nara, we need an execute. We need an execute. Nara, Nara, Nara. What, what, Nara, what are you doing? Okay. I swear, I swear that Nomura was below. We're going to do this one more time and then we'll swap tanks and then we'll call it quits and admit defeat and that we just suck. So. Uh, shield, shield, shield before everyone dies. Nice. Man, when he goes bats, just the bats, man. The bats. Oh, Nomura, die. Die, Nomura. Yes. Okay, we got Nomura. Uh, yeah, nah. Nah. No shit. Oh, uh, no, nah, we're stuck. Okay. Okay. Let's let's do this one, and then and then we're done. Then we're done. We're waiting for summons. The, no more on this account until summons, because we need those summons. Uh, yeah, nah. This is bad. This is real bad. Real bad. Rip. That, like, that damage is insane. Okay, that stage, yeah, that's going to be my roadblock. I don't think we're going to clear this chapter before it summons, which really does suck. Uh, at least we get two, 200 more. 200. Uh, we won't worry about daily quests. But that is going to be it for this video, guys. Like I said, just the use of Arden, definitely my... By far, I think I'd have to rank him as the best rare unit. Um, just the CC, like I said, once you get endgame, especially on my other account, 
where you know you start surpassing where the usefulness of damage dealers is um, for rare units. CC, it just never dies. It's always amazing. So this guy, entangling three heroes, like, like I said, once he gets to level 141, absolute beast. I know the video turned away from a spotlight of him to just Shamira Solos. Like, that should be the name of this game, Shamira Solos. Like, if you have a Shamira, she's solo and shit. But... That is going to be it for this, guys. I uh, hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, but we've got some massive summons coming up, so look forward to that one to come. Thanks for watching. I'll look forward to seeing the next one. Cheers.